Ever dropped the slinky and wondered why does the lower end not falling down? Oh my god, how does this work? Well, that's why I'm here, Kitty. Let's check it out. Me out there. Namaste, Sci Fam, and welcome back to Sci with CS. After so long, in this video, we'll check it out the physics of this slinky, or you will say it as a magic. Let's check it out. So, we will break down the problem in three points point A, point B, and point C over here, and we will check it out the equilibrium conditions at these three points. Now, consider the top end A on which the weight of every single spring coils act. Moreover, that's the force of acceleration trying to pull it down the top end and that force is further given by the mass of springs times the acceleration due to the gravity and that is nothing but the weight of spring in newtons. However, there is no spring force in upward direction to counter or balance this weight force above this white line. Easy we can say there is no spring available above this top end to create a tension and hold this weight load. As a result, top end falls down due to the weight force. Now if you look at the last coil of spring at point B on which the stretched spring applies the tension force. The tension force here is given by the K times the L which is the K is the stiffness of spring which is nothing but the resistance to the extension of spring or the resistance to the deformation of spring times the stretched length of spring. Now let's check what happens at the down end point B. On that point B, as I have already told, the weight force trying to pull it down and exactly in opposite direction of it, the earlier told tension force trying to balance the weight force of spring. These two forces act exactly opposite in a direction of the same magnitude hence cancel out each other and a net force acting on point B down end becomes zero so that point B doesn't move or fall down unless that upper end hits the bottom part B and both will fall together. If net force is zero why does the slinky falls down? Let's check it out now focus on the point C when I drop the slinky down upper end reaches the point C and length of extension becomes zero which makes the tension force zero at point C. Here you can see the mathematical explanation. If you put the length equal to zero value, then tension force becomes stiffness into the zero and overall equation gives the tension force is equal to zero. At that point, only force acting is the weight which makes the slinky fall down. So we have concluded while falling down, acceleration force increases and tension force becomes zero, which led the slinky fall down. So this is going to be a second explanation to our video. So if you see this slinky spring and if I tap on the above surface, you will see the wave traveling across these coils of the spring. If I do something activity over this surface, these coils will travel this down to the down end to a specific speed. Or you can say this compression wave travel across these coils and reaches the bottom. So it takes the basic time to reach to the bottom part and then only that bottom part knows that the something activity has happened over here.